So I'm in the CRM now. Uh, here we go. So this one has everything. It has an address and it has skills that are required. Um, just missing a description, which isn't that big of a deal. So here we go. Uh, we opened up the scheduler and then it ran a query. So it knows where, uh, this is called a territory or location. It knows uh, what, that's the skill or skills required. We're looking for the person we're gonna assign, but we could filter that if they had a preference. Uh, and then there's the address. So what it does is it passes that information that from Zoho and, it, and then it uh, pushes it into the scheduler and then it runs a query. And so in this case, it's only returning one result, one employee uh, called ABC store coordinator, who's gonna be uh, 18 plus miles, about 30 minute drive. Um, so that is, is querying Google Maps. Uh, if the person doesn't uh, have an, a pre-existing appointment, it'll go from their start location, which is in their user profile. So it could be their home or it could be like a yard or business that they go to first. If they do have a previous appointment, uh, then it'll, it'll do a distance and drive time from there. Um, so ultimately here, you're just looking for the person. This is only going to show results of people that have the skills for the job, cover that particular area or territory, you could call it, uh, and are available, meaning they don't have a pre-existing appointment on their calendar. So when we click on a slot, it's going to fill that in. And all we have to do is hit save here at the bottom. And it's going to go ahead and schedule that. I'm not gonna write that back to my CRM, but um, you just have to hit save and it's gonna schedule that. And it's also gonna schedule the drive time appointment for you.